We're busting this game wide open. Shit! These are some really pissed off aliens. Oh great, just what I want to do. Read all fucking day. Time to be evil! Kirby has only given one defensive move in the entire game. So let's go ahead and guess on how he handles himself against the enemy. A. He kicks them. B. He punches them. Or C. Runs at them like a fucking idiot. Well, let's find out. And the answer is C? What a complete asshole! The games in this series always seem to follow along a certain pattern, and this one is no exception. Ah, this is going nicely. This level is fucking huge, and the game developers jam-packed every screen with a shitload of enemies ready to cap your ass at every turn. Fuck! It wouldn't be a bad game if it wasn't so damn hard. Now you'll be seeing all kinds of different creatures, but did they really need this many? When you encounter them, they come at you full throttle with everything they have. Fuck! I swear this level has more aliens in it than the most icely spaceport. I'm not kidding when I say you have a lot of shit to deal with. The odds really become stacked against you in this game. What a bunch of bogus butt balls. Time to get Chef Ramsay on your ass. Fuck! This game sucks ass! Fuck! Okay, let's try this again. This mission is truly fucking impossible. I I'm just so pissed off right now, I just cannot continue the review. My head is spinning and I feel like I'm losing my mind. Now the enemies here shouldn't give you too much of a problem, but these ledges on the other hand... SHIT! You know, it makes you wonder how quickly they slapped this game together in order to make money off of it. SHIT! I hate this fucking level! Enough of this bullshit. At last, the final stage. What makes it worse is that there are a lot more enemies on this stage, and even more confusing puzzles to figure out. Once you reach the ending boss, the creature waiting for you is some sort of weird looking alien head on top of a woman's head. And I'm not sure if this is supposed to be disgusting or kinky. Well, no matter. Let's just kill this bitch. I guarantee that anyone who's ever played this game has been probably scarred by the painful memories of trying to pass this nightmare of a level. Well, I'm done reviewing Kirby, because I'm fucking sick of fighting off aliens. As far as I'm concerned, hope I never see another alien again. Just do me a favor and stay away from this game. That being said, there's only one more thing to do. Send this thing back to hell where it came from. Well, the Christmas season is upon us again, and throughout the year, I get a lot of emails from fans asking which my favorite NES games are. So for this episode, I thought I'd take five of my favorites and do a short review on each. So, let's get started. Number five is Contra. Playing this game, you could tell they put no effort into it whatsoever. In fact, I would pay more for a bag of shit, but excellent, well worth the money. Number four, Castlevania. 
Simon Belmont still remains one of my favorite NES characters of all time. Well worth the money. Number 3, Ghosts and Goblins. One of the most hardest games for the NES, but I'm excited to see what else I can do with this franchise. Number 2, Another huge letdown. Face it, this game sucks, it's boring, and it's stupid. Alright folks, in the number one game, Super Mario Bros. 3. Now this one can be a bit CRAP! The action scenes were cool, the villains were awesome, and I just love how everything tied together by the end of this game. This game totally rocked. But to tell you the truth, this game is the most boring, stupidest, dumbest,